Welcome to our kindergarten graduation message. Let's begin. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. This Bible verse should sound very familiar to you because this is one of our special Bible verses for the year from Proverbs chapter 3, verses 5 and 6. If you want to say it with me, you can. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and do not lean on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him, and he will make straight your paths. Proverbs chapter 3, verses 5 and 6. Let us pray. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for teaching and guiding us this year in kindergarten. Help us to trust in you with all our heart. Help us to follow you and continue to teach us your ways and your love as we grow in the years to come. Teach us and lead us, Jesus, and make our paths straight, safe, secure, and following wherever you lead. Amen. We have all been thrust in unfamiliar territory in recent months. I'm so proud to say that parents and students have come together to finish strong this final quarter of the school year. Thank you for working hard to read, to write, to add, subtract, do science experiments, and study God's word. I'm reminded in 2 Timothy 1.7, for God gave us a spirit not of fear, but of power and love and self-control. The world may live in fear, but as Christians, we know that is not the plan God has for us. We can rest in his care and his plan. The Bible also mentions in Proverbs 17.22a that a joyful heart is good medicine. In these unusual circumstances, I wanted to provide some humor for everyone. Here are a few funny parent tweets to start us off. Welcome to homeschooling. Your house has 847 pencils in it, yet your child can never find one. I'm not sure who coined the phrase, you'll miss these days, but it definitely wasn't a parent who spent a month quarantined with four kids. Whoever said the days are long, but the years are short, did not know about the year 2020. Now we have a sample of writing done by the kindergarten students. They took famous sayings and added their own endings. Kids, listen for yours. Barking dogs seldom go to the farm. All that glitters is art. Don't count your chickens before we put them to bed. Always put your best foot in your shoe. Early to bed, early to rise, makes a man awake. Don't put all your eggs in a bucket. A journey of a thousand miles begins with eating crackers. An apple a day keeps your mouth clean. The early bird catches worms. Thank you, kindergarten, for sharing your wisdom with us. Congratulations, everyone. Kindergarten students, I am so proud of you. I have seen you grow this year in immeasurable kinds of ways. You've gotten taller or your pants all shrunk. You've learned how to walk in a line most of the time. You've learned how to speak in clear sentences. You've learned how to listen to others and wait your turn most of the time. You've learned how to say the pledges to the cross and to the flag and to hardly ever get them mixed up. You've learned to say please and thank you. You've learned to become tender-hearted as you brought chapel offerings every week. You've become friends with people your own age and you've learned how to become friends with those really big kids like the eighth graders. You've learned our Bible passages, and you can even say our theme verse with me from 1 Thessalonians 5, verses 16 through 18. Rejoice always, pray without ceasing, give thanks in all circumstances, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. I know you've missed me. I've missed you too. 
and I'll see you when you come later this week. But I certainly hope that from here on out, you will remember all the lessons you learned in kindergarten and be ready to use them when you start school again in the fall. And receive this blessing from God. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord look upon you with favor and give you peace. Amen. Amen.